I wanna tell you a story about an F I know. When it come to cutting, you know it's still a show. Ain't exactly pretty. Ain't exactly small. Forty-two, thirty-nine, fifty-six. I can't stand intros. Yeah, there's a whole lot of Rosie here. That's right. Victorian Ox Swiss Champ XLT. Not a lot of videos out there on it. There's a few. And they're all well presented and extremely um, informative. I think this is about three or four years old. And I might have, I might have um, opted to get this one from some of the videos that I've seen. You know, I have a little bit of a Victoria Knox collection going on, and this is the biggest one I own at the present time. I did get rid of the XVAT or XAVT. I can't remember exactly. It's the really, really big one with the, uh, the light and all that other stuff. <clears throat> but anyway, let's talk about this. So basically what we're looking at here today is a Swiss Champ combined with the CyberTool 41 or 39 or any of the cyber tools. I'm going to go through this one step at a time. Yeah, it's wide, but is it unusable? I don't think so. Okay, so the first and obvious is the flathead screwdriver with the cap lifter or bottle opener and the wire stripper. Next, we have the can opener slash tin opener depending on where you live. And it's got another little flat head, which could be a very minor prying tool. Next, we come into the inline Phillips. And I guess I'm gonna kind of start with this. Is this usable? Yeah, I think it is. I, I have leaned on these in the past where this, the screws are really hard and maybe seized. This is a little bit soft. So, but for if you're fixing that light switch, you know, on the wall, not a problem. And yeah, very usable. Okay, so this is the magnifying glass that you'll find on the Swiss Champ, but not on the Cyber Tool. Handy. Very handy. I found myself reaching for this many times when I'm not wearing my glasses, for whatever reason. And I need to see that, that fine print, maybe on a, on a pill bottle or something like that. So. Useful, very useful. Of course, there's many, many other uses. There's some great videos out there on some of the imagination that people put into using all these things. Okay, so coming up next is the pliers, which you know that I basically think of these as man tweezers, or I guess you could call them measers. And uh, I could demonstrate on some nose hair but you don't really need to see that, and I don't really need the pain. So these are on the Swiss Champ and on the CyberTool 41, the replaceable bit driver, which is extremely handy. You know, I use this for other pocket knives for maintenance and things like that. Very handy. Uh, this appears on all of the CyberTools, the 41 and the 34 and maybe the 29. I can't remember them all. Okay, I'm going to leave three tools out for now. And these absolutely fantastic scissors. You'll see these on the Swiss Champ and on the CyberTool 41. The fish scaler or hook remover, you will find, and uh, scale, imperial and metric, you will find on the Swiss Champ, but not on the Cyber Tool 41. Of course, the great Victorian Ox saw, which I like, you will find on the Cyber Tool 41 and on the Swiss Champ. My all time favorite file, you will find on the Cyber Tool 41 and on the Swiss Champ. The classic drop point. And last but not least, Last but not least in the knife department, 
a little draw point. Okay, so the corkscrew and the, the micro um, screwdriver and the pin. Okay. They are also on the Cyber Tool 41 and the Swiss Champ. This particular one has the plus scales. Well, the, actually, the XLT comes with the plus. Um, the Swiss Champ does as well, I do believe. I don't have them in front of me right now. I've replaced the toothpick with the Firefly. I think that's what it's called. And I usually use the saw. And of course you should support it. If you're gonna use this, there's all kinds of ways to do it, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. We can maybe do that in another video, but there's a lot of videos out there already, so. Okay, I don't wanna light up the uh, Shema. Okay, um, really cool, glows in the dark. Really glows in the dark, very cool. This you'd have to get separately, by the way. So I've replaced the toothpick with this. The pen. And we'll get into the pen in a second. We'll come back to it in a minute. The tweezers. Which I'm using all the time. I don't know about you guys, but I get these pieces of skin sometimes that kind of hurt. And the tweezers always come in handy. Just kind of break that piece off. I use them quite a bit. and that covers everything under the scales. There are some great cool videos on mods on how to use this empty scale here, the hidden scale. Okay, so we got a little chisel, which is on the Swiss Champ and on the Cyber 241. The smaller flathead, which to me is redundant because of course, you know, you've got this same flat screwdriver up here in the bits. It's kind of pointless. Uh, I think it would be cool if it was a file, like if there was a file on here, you know, that type that's on the uh, cuticle type thing. That would have been a good use for this tool. If uh, Victorinox is watching, maybe put a file on there. You know the type, that kind of corrugated type for for cuticles. And of course, the all. All useful, I think. And the coat hook, the coat hook. Uh, I call it the coat hook. It's not really a coat hook. And I, I don't really use it very often, but when I need the pen, so I'll just slide the pen into this little slot, close it, and now you have a usable pen. And it works quite well. Hello. Okay, so we'll put him back in his little slot. There are a couple of tools on here that are not on the CyberTool 41 or not on the Swiss Champ. And this is really the only difference. You have this pill dispenser separator, I think that's what they're calling it. It's just kind of an odd piece of metal. And I think I've used it a couple of times when I was molding leather for some of the pouches I make. Sometimes those little corners and you've got that wet, um, the wet leather and you have to mold it. I've used it a couple of times for that. It has two other blades on here. It's, uh, I believe it's called some kind of an electrician blade for stripping wire. And um, 
I think it would work. I'd, I've never really used it, but I don't see it being a problem. Again, I'd, would you work with this all day? No, but if you need it, it's there. And the one tool that I have used, and again, this is only on this model, or I should say not only on this model, it's not on the Swiss Champ and it's not on the Cyber Tool 41. It's kind of like a pruning knife. And if you find the right spot on how to hold this, yeah, it, it really does take out those um, green, you know, those green branches and you want to kind of strip it down a little bit. It does work. It works quite well. And I keep it razor sharp, so. Now, is there anything that I missed? You can change the scales out at any time. If you don't like these scales, just go online and you know, find what you're looking for. I quite like the ruby reds myself. Okay, let's talk about how I carry this thing. Okay, so this is the pouch that it came with. It's good quality leather. The Velcro is extremely strong. I feel confident carrying this. This is not my, my hiking bush um, um, carry Victorinox. I like to carry this on a Sunday or Saturday instead of a Leatherman, perhaps. Keep a, a couple of Band-Aids or plasters in here. And yeah, I cut myself all the time. Today I cut myself with the scissors. You can see that. So... These are very sharp, very, very sharp. Where are they? Here. I always make the mistake in this area when I'm opening this up. Sometimes they snap back on me and they got me. So I put on a Band-Aid a little earlier. Extremely comfortable. It's really well done. It's just classy. And I'll show you what it looks like on the belt and on the pants. Okay, so here it is on a pair of pants with a leather belt. Leather belt's about two inches. Yeah, it's about a two inch belt. I think this gives you a good idea of where it sits on the hip. Okay, it doesn't ride high. It rides in a nice location. And when you, well, when, when I wear uh, pants and the belt fits nice and everything's good you really don't even know it's on it's it kind of evaporates it's not overly heavy but like i said if you're going to carry this uh, around the city for the for saturday sunday type of thing i think this is a great thing to have here it is next to the buck 110 if you didn't see my video on how i modded this yeah just go back and check that out it's a music video I uh, put some of my own music on top of it. So that's my take on the Victorinox Swiss Champ XLT. Is it a whole lot of rosy? I think it is. Is it too much? I don't think so. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have yourself a super fantastic day. Bye for now.